There are anal cushions located in the upper anal canal at three different sites. The anal cushions contain connections between the rectal arteries and the vein, which are very vascular and supported by smooth muscle and connective tissue. Along with internal and external sphincters, they help to control the anal continent. Sometimes due to reasons, these blood vessels get swollen and enlarged and form hemorrhoids. There are two types of hemorrhoids. Internal and external hemorrhoids are defined by the location relative to the dentate line. Hemorrhoids above the dentate line are known as internal hemorrhoids. And if the hemorrhoids are below the dentate line, known as external hemorrhoids. It's not clear why they become enlarged, but they're often associated with the following, having constipation for an extended period sitting on the toilet for too long and pushing too hard objects, pregnancy, and sometimes anal intercourse. Internal hemorrhoids are classified by how advanced they and categorized into four grades. First degree hemorrhoids have no prolapse. Second degree hemorrhoids prolapse when straining, then they return inside the anus. Third degree hemorrhoids prolapse when straining, but do not return on relaxing, that can be pushed back inside. Fourth degree hemorrhoids are prolapsed permanently. 40% of patients with hemorrhoidal disease are asymptomatic, meaning they don't experience any symptoms. The typical presentation of internal hemorrhoids is painless, bright red bleeding on the toilet and toilet paper. But the blood is not mixed with stool. The second symptom of internal hemorrhoids is a sensation of rectal fullness. It happens when the internal hemorrhoids become so enlarged. The patient often feels like they are sitting on something. Other symptoms include mucus discharge, incontinence, a sore or itchy anus, and the feeling of a lump around or inside the anus. External hemorrhoids are more likely a visible perianal mass or swelling that can increase in size over time and can be larger. Pain is another important symptom of external hemorrhoids. Sudden and severe pain can occur when the external hemorrhoids have become thrombosed. It's when a clot forms in the external hemorrhoids and makes it tender to touch. The external hemorrhoids can lead to the activation of perianal innervation near the external hemorrhoids. Hemorrhoids often go away on their own without treatment. Topical treatment of hemorrhoids, like hemorrhoid creams or suppositories, can relieve symptoms and help reduce swelling. Drinking two to four liters of water a day and increasing the fiber intake in a diet consult your doctor if symptoms get worse or interfere with your daily life.